preparation for the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception on December 8th, we thought it'd be a good idea to finish off our window series for the church and to explain the titles used for Our Lady in the remaining windows. So I'm standing before the very first window of this next series, which is Mother Most Pure. The reason we're starting with this window is because it really does reflect Mary's Immaculate Conception. Right? So in the midst of a world which is overcome by sin, signified by the thorns in the window, Mary is like this lily, this pure, pure creation of God, who was immaculately conceived in the womb of her mother, who we understand to be Saint Anne. So that means that Mary was preserved from all stain of original sin from the moment of her conception, unlike us who need baptism, right, and are still not preserved from the stain of original sin. We're still affected by it in our lives all the time. Mary was kept free from it at the very outset of her conception by a, by a singular grace from Jesus Christ. So it's basically, to look back at the thorns, his, his passion and death and the merits of sanctification and of redemption, which he wins on the cross, are applied to Mary even before his passion and death take place in history. Because he's God, and so his actions are eternal. They have this significance across space and time. And so Mary is known as the Immaculate Conception, and also as Mother Most Pure.